I did a service on my water heater back in April but we're now October, well November, we're in the lockdown so I've decided to do it properly because I still get every occasion an intermittent ignition where you get the red light come up and I've had enough of it so I'm going to have a take it out and see what goes on anyway this should help others it's the first time I've done this, removed it but it should be quite straightforward first thing to do is remove the cowling so I'll get that done and see what's underneath after you've removed the six screws that secure the plastic cover you've then got this behind but be careful because they use these screws and they're threaded into the aluminium and they just strip so be very very careful when you try and crack these open so remove the cover once the cover is removed you've then got to dig out all the silicon that secures this to the side of the van to prevent any water ingress just dig away at it with a screwdriver and you'll see that loads of little bugs can get in there it's like a daddy long legs so let's get rid of him and you've then got an aperture that goes the lower one goes down to the burner and the top one is the exhaust now when you get to this stage and you've made it so that you've cleared all the all the silicon um, from around the edge that's been used to secure it seal it up most important because you don't need to access this part again here's a tip for you um, I find that when I'm doing anything and starting to unplug things that the best scenario you can have is three marker pens and then after that you can mark them up with either dots or, or whatever so that you know what goes back where and this is a typical example here and I'll show you why I've already undone the screws on the top there there's two screws and lo and behold we've now got the situation where we've got the wiring going in now some of it's quite straightforward like this one here for instance which is just a plug-in so you can take that off that's in the main board that's inside there that's not an issue but look at this one here look right what do we do here as you can see the wires are reversed so we've got brown and blue and then on the other side we've got them reversed so what goes where now this is the mains side which is uh, which is a worry um, not happy about that at all now what I can do now is is that I can mark this and mark that so that I know that it goes in that way you know if you're disturbed or anything like that after a while you could end up forgetting so rather than forget use the marker pens and you'll get things correct no bangs at the end of the day that's what we don't want well I've taken this connector apart and I can't see for the life of me how it comes uh, how the wires come out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wires and I'm going to put a connector block in there when I connect it up so at least that will leave me with the unit free got no idea how it comes out I'm taking it apart and I still can't see uh, how it comes out but there you go put the sides back on again this is what I've done I've marked it up with a red actually over the blue so I know which is which and then after that I'll cut it cut both of them and then after that I'll just put a connector block in there when I connect it back up All right, next job is we've got a wire here and that is the wire that goes all the way around to this unit here I don't think you see it I'm sorry it's so dark but it's where you have to work isn't it so I've got to get that off that cover um, and disconnect it there because that is where the um, the mains for the water heater goes right got a bit of light now you can see the little box that I've got to get to that has got the wire that's coming from the element it's easy enough to follow the wire the white wire there which comes down around the bottom of the unit and then goes to this connector box there so that's the next thing to tackle that's connecting the um, wiring to the unit so you know once I do that I've only got the gas to remove then and of course the pipes so we'll see how we go well there's the connector box inside there 
and it's crammed in it really is never mind let's have a look and see how we go right, the wires have been removed from the connector block and it might sound dumb marking the wires and that but you know if you don't do it if you have a look at there I'm hoping that you can see it the bottom of the connector block there where you've got the red and the blue going in on the other side you've got a yellow and on the bottom you've got a white so if you took these out you could quite easily get them reversed or you know mixed up or whatever it's just not worth it um, it's no good having you know one out of three you're just going to blow something so that's why I use the um, the uh, the in invisible mark well not the invisible they're uh, indelible markers sorry so if you use those you won't go wrong and you know that it's going to go back the same way right now loosen the brackets and pull the pipe off now I've got to do the um, the pipe clips down the bottom I'll do those um, I'm, I might not might not need to that's interesting I think I'll do the uh, the pipes actually where they connect onto the unit first and then after that do the screws that hold the um, hold the feet down you can see them just through there I think there we go look can you see there must be about three of those one two I would think another one's around the back somewhere if it's been put in and then after that it's the gas connection there and that should make the thing move we will see right this is where you get the issues now I've got one screw fixing off down there as you can see on the base I'm hoping you can see it anyway down here there you go down down there that's where it is hang on let's get that cable out of the way yeah, see if I can. a bit difficult sorry mate but this is the best I can do oh dear there's a screw fixing down there get it out down there you can see I've got my finger on it there's also one here which again is another one that I've been able to get to and undo this goes on to the base but there's one right round the other side now this is typical so what's happened is is that that plinth um, and the heater has been fitted um, at I would say a time before the sink and everything else has gone in or whatever because how the hell would you get round there to do the screws up you can't so without getting a that screw it's virtually impossible to service but I'm going to confirm what it is and um, I've got an endoscope which might uh, might show me where the hell it is because how the hell I'm going to get that out everything else is undone but I can't move it out because of that Right, I'm showing you this because it's ideal. It's an endoscope and it's Wi-Fi as well. And it will connect to my iPad down there. And it's got a little TV camera, which is here. And that's got LEDs as well. So I'll be able to see what's down the back of that. No other way of seeing. So let's see how we can get over this issue otherwise uh, you know it's going to be very difficult I don't know what to do yet anyway I'll keep you informed right here we go I've connected up the the little Wi-Fi unit to the camera as you can see the camera has now come on it's now transmitting a signal I've gone into settings and as you can see it's come up now with endoscope and it's connected so that should be fine so let's open the program now and see what we got right there we go that's the endoscope picture and it's ideal for looking at places that are a bit dark because obviously it's got the LEDs as well if you're interested go on eBay they're only about 15 quid and uh, get the Wi-Fi one and then after that it won't date get one with a connector and you've got a problem so that's it so let's have a look down the back of that unit and see what we can find well, here we go. There's the first thing I've found down the back of it. Wonderful, isn't it? A can opener. You know, one of those uh, Frey Bentos or whatever. So what else we got here? There we go. There is the little bleeder. So that's the one that I've got to uh, got to get at. What a place to put it. Uh, cobwebs are free. 
But that's why these things are ideal, because now I know that it's down there. How the hell am I going to get that? Not too sure about this one. I'll let you know. I've got two of the screws out, and as you can see, they're not very, not very big, but they are rusty. So of course they're biting hard. And the only way I'm going to remove this to be able to get down there is with a long screwdriver. I can't even get back that far, but you can see it's it's huge. If I put it up against my arm, it virtually goes to my elbow. Look, you can see how big it is. But I've got to have that length, but I've only got a flat. I need a small bit on the end to be able to get enough leverage to clear the top of the unit so that I can undo it. So I've got a friend that might be able to help me out, so I'll be nipping along down there in a minute to see if I can get this screw out. Everything moves on the unit, so it's moving, but unfortunately unless I can get that screw out of the back, I'm scuppered. So, it's a case of a bit of ingenuity and hope for the best. 